Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Thanks for joining me here on my channel, Neurotic Mom Bakes. I'm Amy and I'm going to show you how you can decorate. Let's say you're not a cake decorator at all. You don't have cake decorating tools. You just, you don't have any experience. I'm gonna just show you a very simple, easy way you can decorate a two layer cake, make it look beautiful, just using basic household tools. You don't need any special scrapers or spatulas or anything like that. You don't need any skills. Anyone can do this. You can use any cake layer, any frosting. I am using my red velvet. This is my doctored red velvet cake. I have previously posted that if you want to go check that out. And I also have my almond cream cheese buttercream, which I posted that tutorial as well. So you can go check both of those out if you want, or you can use your own cake recipe, frosting recipe, or any of my other cake or frosting recipes. Just know for this, I like my buttercream or frosting a little bit softer than when I'm doing like a piping or a smooth outer shell cake. So I will add a little bit more cream when I'm making the buttercream. Just make a note of that. So this is nice and quite soft. Now, if you want, you can simply decorate this cake right on top of just a basic dinner plate. This will fit nicely on there. I'm just gonna show you, you can do it just like that. Or if you want, these are really simple to find or order. I'm actually going to make one for my neighbor, so I don't want her to have to worry about bringing a plate back. However, that's you could do that. This is just like a $3 cake drum. I find them on Amazon. I also find them at, they have some at like a craft store or a gourmet baking store. You could also just do a simple piece of cardboard as well. This isn't a very heavy cake. So it will be plenty. So I'm gonna do this, but just know that you can do this on any flat or semi-flat surface. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I always put a little bit of buttercream just on the bottom. That's just gonna give a little bit of anchor and I'm gonna kind of slide it around. The great thing about cakes, this is just the best thing, is you can make the cake layers and buttercream up to a month in advance and just pull them out when you're ready to decorate. Cakes are, just kind of unique that way because trying to do it all in one day is quite time consuming, even for a simple decoration like this because I like to decorate my cake layers frozen. You're going to want to do that or you're just gonna have a huge mess on your hands. So it takes time to cool the cake layers down and then get them chilled in the freezer. So I always just have cake layers made ahead of time and if you wrap them well, they freeze I say up to a month, but a lot of cake decorators say up to three months, double wrapped. Okay, so do you see what I'm doing? I just got a whole bunch of frosting and I want a nice thick layer in between. I'm just using a spoon. I'm just using the back of a spoon to just kind of spread it out and I wanna go all the way out, just slightly past the edge of my cake layer, just a little bit. We're not even gonna worry about much of a crumb coat with this one. If you have frozen cake layers, you won't have to mess with that either. You don't even have to know what that means if you're not like a professional cake decorator. Okay, here's my second layer. Here's a tip, just turn it over. I leveled off, the. there was a slight dome, so I leveled it off, but you don't even have to do that. But if I turn it over, I have a nice flat surface because it's the bottom of the cake. And I'm just gonna kind of gently press it down and make sure it's lined up as much as possible. Then I'm going to get my butter knife. I always give my buttercream a good stir. You can totally do this with store-bought frosting too. If you don't wanna make frosting, you do not have to. So the key with this, um, if you're not going to worry about a crumb coat, you probably will get some crumbs in there. However, the thicker you spread your frosting, the less likely that's going to be. But when I leveled the tops of my cake off, I saved it because I'm gonna get some of these pieces and use them to kind of decorate around the edges of the cake. So save that. Rotate this around and I'm just spreading it. It's going to go out again past the edge of the cake layer. I wanna keep it nice and thick. Number one, because this frosting is so good. And number two, if you try to spread it real thin, you're gonna pull crumbs up. You just kinda wanna touch the top of the buttercream without getting down into the cake. 
Hopefully that makes sense. But again, don't worry if you get crumbs in there. It's gonna be fine. Yes, the presentation is in, you know, important. It's gonna look nice, but the taste is what it's all about. It's what it all comes down to, right? Kinda, I like to get eye level with it. It's easy to tell if I am uneven, if I need to balance it out. You don't need piping bags. You don't need anything. I'm using a butter knife and a spoon. And I'll just show you a couple different things you can do to kind of give it a pretty finish on the buttercream. Okay, now, so I've got it kind of over the edge a little bit. Now I'm gonna start at the bottom. Don't worry if you get frosting on your cake drum or cake plate. I'll show you how to clean that up. But again, we're just working with big globs of frosting and I'm spreading it around the bottom all the way down so it's right down to the cake drum, cake plate, right down there. There we go. So I've got it all the way around the bottom. Just gonna try smoothing it out a little bit. And then I'm going to go to the top here. What I like to do is just get a little bit on my knife and kind of push it right over the edge and then lightly frost. I get a little bit, put it right there on the edge, push it over the edge, and just lightly brush it back and forth. If you feel like you're pulling up crumbs, just let go, let go of the, the knife and go back and get some more buttercream and just gently cover it up. I mean, this looks like a mess right now, right? This looks so not pretty, but we'll get there. Cakes just always look worse before they look better. And it looks like one batch of my buttercream, any flavor. So that's with the um, two cups of butter, eight cups of powdered sugar, or two cups of butter or cream cheese, whichever combo you're using. That is technically one batch. And it looks like it's going to be just enough to cover this. But if you feel like you need more, again, more frosting, it's going to be easier to cover. Then go ahead and make one and a half batches. Okay, so I've kind of got it down over the top and the bottom. Now I'm just gonna fill in the middle. See how I just filled in the middle right there? Once you have the top and bottom, it's easy. If you try to do the middle first, you're gonna pull all the crumbs off. Isn't that lovely? And it smells so good. Almond cream cheese uh, frosting is one of my all-time favorite flavors and it goes with everything. Chocolate, vanilla, red velvet, coconut. If you feel like it's domed in the middle, just get your knife and kind of push it out to the edge. Press it out over the top of your cake. I forgot to do the top right here. Okay, virtually crumb free. There's a couple in there. That's okay, I'm just gonna, now I'm just gonna take my knife and lightly just smooth it so it's as evenly coated as possible. If you feel like there's a lot of frosting, like say on the bottom, you can lift, scrape that off and lift it up to the top just to kind of make it even going up. I'm just gently smoothing out the sides, barely touching. Again, if you have too much pressure, you're gonna get down into that cake and pull crumbs off. So this is a light, gentle pressure just on the top of the buttercream. See, like I felt it was quite thick in that one spot, so I scraped some off to put in a thinner place on top. Okay, now, if you wanna get more uh, like square or crisp edges, you can, or you can leave it like this. If you wanna do that, I'm just gonna press the frosting out over the edge again. See how the frosting is going past where the cake is? This is an unnecessary step. You do not have to do this, but it can, and then I'll just 
gently get my knife and completely vertical, just flatten that out. And you get more of like that, kind of that crisp edge on the top there. You can just kind of go back and forth doing that. There we go, that's looking nice. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you three different kind of decorating techniques using just a fork, a spoon, um, and a knife, maybe, if you want. And then we'll just top it with some decorations, some easy, simple decorations. Okay, so one way you can do it is I just have a spoon. You can just kind of on an angle, see how I'm just lifting it up, starting at the bottom, and just lifting the frosting up. So that's one way, okay? Um, you could also just get your knife and just do like swirls. Kind of like I have here, and I'll show you on the top. So if I just kind of swirl it around like this, kind of making like a half of a figure eight, it just gives kind of a, I'm just swirling it back and forth. Just, you know, different type of finish. So there's another one. Or you can get a fork and you can either press it into the sides you could do this going all the way around, or you can press it into the sides here, going, you know, just in rows, or if you wanted to just, like the spoon, drag it up. Or you could go around this way. I mean, there's just so many different things you could do. You could go around horizontally. Diff lots of different ways we can decorate this. But let's, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the spoon. I like that one. That one just happens to be my favorite. And it just covers those fork marks right up. I also like when you drag it, drag it up, it kind of helps get that sharper edge on the top as well. Like how easy was that? I don't even have a turntable. I'm just I'm gonna go around the top with my spoon, just swirling it in. What? Look at that. We're not even done yet. We're gonna put some chocolates on top and we're gonna get these cake crumbs and put them around. Let me just wash my hands. Okay, let's finish this cake off. I mean, it's pretty like this as is. You could just slice and serve. But I feel like just adding just a little something to the top just elevates it just a little bit. Um, first thing I'm gonna do though, let's clean off our board. So I just have a clean, wet rag and I'm just gonna go around and wipe off the excess buttercream. I do this with my regular cakes too. I like to decorate right on the cake drum. Then I don't have to worry about transferring it. It's, you have to get those special cake lifters and I don't like doing that. Okay, so I just have some simple um, Lindor truffles. I love decorating cakes with these because they are round and they are so pretty and they come in lots of different flavors and different colors. So I have, this is the Neapolitan and I love it because it's, it's white chocolate but it has the flecks of the red in there so it just goes so well with the red velvet. And then inside is um, vanilla and chocolate truffle, you know, for the Neapolitan. So I just, these were the tops of my cake that I leveled off and I saved and you can sprinkle some down on the sides, on the bottom. I'm just gonna sprinkle some right here on the top, just kind of going around in a circle. You could cover the entire top with it. Red velvet's just, I love the red color, it's just really pretty to decorate with. If you feel like your cake tops were, were too um, like moist to crumble up, you can just go ahead and put them on a baking sheet and stick them in the oven for five minutes and they'll just kind of take all the moisture out so you can crumble them up a little bit more. Okay, now I'm just gonna finish by putting some truffles just kind of all the way. Lots of different options for decorating the top. You can just get like chocolates, like different size, you know, like a box of chocolates and just place them around on top. You could get lollipops if you were doing 
like more of a birthday cake. You could stick lollipops around. That would be really cute. Um, maybe cookies, small cookies, Oreos. I just love having something on top of the cake, usually. Just love how it looks. Okay, I think we need to slice this one up, don't you? Let's see what it looks like inside. But come on, anyone can do this. You can do this, right? If you've never de decorated a cake before, you can totally do this, right? And look how pretty it looks. I mean, it looks like it's from a bakery, honestly. Okay, let's slice into this one. Okay, ooh, look at that. Doesn't that look pretty? Let's lay that down. Ah, yes, there it is. There's your cake, let's give it a taste. Because I really think you need to go try my almond cream cheese frosting with red velvet or any other flavor. That is so, so good. One more bite. Yep, yep, you can totally do this. You can make a cake and make it look fancy and impress all your guests. Um, no problem, no sweat, you can do this. Um, if you wanna see more tutorials or recipes like this one, just subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.